hey Virgos so this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Capricorn for the month of June let's get it cutie pies coming with the Knight of Pentacles the King of Cups to the chariot card in reverse here sweethearts all right looks like somebody was being very much so lazy here in the past and they weren't putting in any motivation to coming to come towards you maybe they were like a flip-flopper that's how that's what I'm saying <laughs> they were a flip-flopper they come and they go they come and they go they change their mind they love you they change their mind they love you it's very flip-floppy here is what I'm seeing here Virgos but do expect that for the month of June it is going to be mercury retrograde energy for everybody just remember Virgos I'm not doing any personal readings for the month of uh pardon me for until June 15th but I am doing questions so if you need a question to be answered you're more than welcome to go ahead and purchase those are done through email Sweethearts, uh, regardless though, my shop is still open on my website, terrabarbie.com. Let's get it, Virgos. Definitely somebody here was very much so lazy coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. And it looks like they're going to be returning back for you. So some of you guys may not have been talking to your Capricorn for quite some time. But regardless though, someone is uh, coming back for you regardless though, Virgos. All right? They're going to tell you they love you so much. Ooh, I love you so much. I want, I want to make everything work. Maybe this person has their own business for that matter here, Virgos. They, and they work with a couple people here. But at the end of the day... They're going to tell you, you know what, let's, let's move in together. Let's buy a house together. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's, let's work on this. Let's, let's, let's put our heads together and find a way to make this work. All right, Virgos, but I don't know if you guys are going to end up working out, to be honest with you, coming with the chariot card. I think you guys don't feel like this person's a liar coming with the moon card to the Hierophant reverse. You feel like they may be a lying, uh, deceptive towards you, very secretive towards you as well. And you guys may end up actually arguing with each other coming with the chariot card in reverse. This person's very sneaky and they made a really bad decision. Definitely somebody who has a business here, Virgos. They want to be in a relationship with you, but they also want to be sneaky on you at the exact same time. It is going to shock you because this person's not making the adjustments. They're just going to keep telling you how they want to be in a relationship with you shit virgos but every single time they've been doing this they always leave you in the ten of swords because this like they do care about you don't get me wrong they do love you they want to be in a relationship with you but you guys are always fighting with each other always always fighting you care about them they care about you but you guys are always at each other's necks always fighting okay ten of wands virgos you're caring way too much it's making you become it's, it's a lot of trouble why do you have to be the one to carry everything on your own? It is what is what I'm seeing here. Regardless, though, you guys, some of you guys may have been married to this person or are married with them at this moment. Uh, cutie pies, and you guys are just going through like some sort of flip floppy relationship. But somebody here might be a little bit moody at the same time, Virgo, and it does leave somebody here very much so stressed out between the two of you guys. And somebody here might be daydreaming or dreaming at nighttime for that matter here, Virgos. But it will bring you. So do know that you're. Whatever it is that you're dreaming about this person, those are premonitions and make sure that you pay attention to your dreams. At the bottom of the deck, I got the Knight of Wands. Alright, so your Capricorn is very much so obsessed with you, Virgos. They probably stalk you and watch you for that matter here. And they, and they want to come back in and balance everything else. So do expect them to reach back out to you guys, but you guys may be nowhere to be found. You guys are staying silent. I think some of you guys may have blocked your person on social media. <laughs> They're going to find a way. This is the type of person here, Virgos, who makes fake accounts and fake phone numbers, like phone number apps, <laughs> to reach out to you because they know that you already got them blocked on all their phone numbers anyway, two of swords, all right? So they're going to try and come back in towards you and letting you know maybe this person wants to spoil you or try and tell you that they want to spoil you for that matter here, Virgos, but they blocked. I mean, I'm telling you, they blocked. But they're going to do whatever it is that they have to to get your number or find a way to get back towards you. But you guys, I'm telling you, Virgos, this someone here is so spying ass. Spying ass at their finance. They know exactly how to investigate. You guys think you're good at spying? Oh, damn. This Capricorn's good. Very good at <laughs> Shit, Virgos. All right? They're going to want to heal the situation because they do miss you very much. And they just want to be in a relationship with you, coming with a judgment card. But it's not up to them at the end of the day. If you don't want to be with them, Virgos, it's just you, they, you just don't want to be with, with you don't want to be with them. Two of Cups here, Virgos. So they want to have a relationship with you, okay? Sorry. So they do want to have a relationship here with you, coming with the Two of Cups energy. Maybe they're gonna tell you like, okay, you know what? You're my soulmate, and and and. <laughs> You don't want nothing to do with them, Virgos, Five of Pentacles. You want to just leave them where they are because you feel like they're creating a lot of illusion for you. Like, it's just, and they always leave you heartbroken at the same time. And as much as they can give you everything in the world, it seems like you guys suffer a lot more with the Three of Swords energy, but you guys are the high priestess to the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, very powerful three cards here, Virgos. You're highly intuitive. You're all knowing. You know what's going on. You already know the truth for exactly what it is. This person, I'm so sorry. This person fucks with your energy. That's what I'm getting right away. This one here, they fuck with your energy really, really badly. They come and they go. They come and they go. They tell you that they love you. They want to marry you. Then they leave again and then you block them and then you guys fight and then they come back again and then you block them and then they, they spy on you and then they stalk you and then they make fake numbers and message you and call you. <laughs> but you're all knowing Virgos. And you're much more abundant on your own. That's just the truth. Mercury retrograde is going to fuck every single type of relationship up this, this, this year. For the month of June, all relationships that are not working out, it's, it's about to go out the door. A lot of roller coaster shit. And I've said it in my, in my last couple readings as well. It's a lot of roller coasters. Up and down, up and down. What the fuck do you guys want to do? <laughs> shit, Virgos. But your intuition is going to guide you no matter what. So do, explain, to, so do expect that they are going to define whatever it is that they have to do. Also, Virgos, you guys are powerful manifestors. Maybe some of you guys even manifested this person to come back in towards you. Okay. Maybe you guys even manifested a new person in your life as well here, Virgos. But at the end of the day, it's saying here that they're going to try and come in and talk sweet to you at the same time, okay? Because that's what they want. They already know that you're a high priestess. They know that you're a queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. You're self-sufficient. You're independent. You're successful. You have your own business. You're capable. You're, you, you get the things that you want on your own. You don't need no man or you don't need no woman to do nothing for you, all right? Mm-hmm. Regardless, though, Virgos, do expect communication coming in from this person. Uh, there might be a complete ending at the end of the month of June, but they are going to try and come back again. They're going to come and go, come and go every single time. All right, Virgos, maybe this person is at a distance here from you, but they're going to tell you they want to be in a happy home with here with you as well. They want to live with you. But you guys are going to be finally standing in your power, coming with the Queen of Wands energy. You're going to be very strong, coming with the Strength card and the Ace of Pentacles. So... They're just going to stress you out more. So do expect a lot of mental stress <laughs> while your Capricorn comes and goes. All right, Virgos. Um, regardless of they are going to make an offer to you of a proposal for that matter. A gift, money is going to be coming your way. And you might just grab all that money and keep it moving, Virgos. At the end of the day, they are very much so passionate about you. Maybe this person wants to take you out for drinks and and go to a bar or whatever the case is. But you guys may end up going. This person's going to do whatever it is that they have to do to fight for you. But you guys are still going to be in the Queen of Swords energy. Like, if, if you don't want a marriage or anything like that, then what is it that you want? And you guys are going to have to figure that out, Virgos. And you may end up actually not wanting them. You, I don't think you guys want them. I'm telling you, Virgos, you guys' energy is so crazy for the month of June. Not just you guys. All 12 signs that you guys are dealing with. You guys don't want nothing to do with them anymore. Mercury retrograde is really just going to be a tower moment for all of you guys, okay? So please be prepared for that when it comes to your love and your relationships here. You're going to have to figure it out. Do you want your past back? Do you want the one that keeps causing you pain? For what? For the fuck for what? Who the hell has time for shit like that? I'm just speaking like on an intellectual fucking level. Who the fuck has time for that in this new age? Man, that's some bullshit. You're really going to sacrifice your own happiness to be in a relationship that doesn't bring you any happiness? For the fuck for what? And I just said it and here it is. You're going to continue to sacrifice Virgos? No man, use your intuition. You're going to leave it alone. And you're going to move on to bigger and better things. Three of Wands. You're going to be looking forward to the future. Because this thing, this person here, <laughs> this thing, I'm so sorry. This person here is not able to give you what it is that you want. Uh, um... Telling you one thing and then going back and being lazy again. Telling you one thing, going back and being lazy again. They mess with your energy really badly. They get you all fucked up. You're always cussing at them all the time. Whenever they reach out to you, you're like, oh, who is this? Oh, it's me. And you, you guys get pissed the fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, cutie pies, I wish you all the best for the month of June. Be strong. Be you. Be all of the queens upright, cutie pies. And, and... <laughs> I'm getting fuckboy vibes, Virgos. Shit. Damn, Virgos. I feel bad for the ones who are dealing with the Capricorn right now. Because out of all sides, it looks like Capricorns are coming in as the fuckboys. And I'm sorry for the cross-watchers. And if that's how you feel about Virgos. However, this is a Virgo channel. So I'm always going to be speaking on the Virgo side no matter what. It's a Virgo channel. 
Don't be coming in my comment section and being like, oh, that sounds like Virgo. Well, you know what? Don't bother commenting. <laughs> I really don't care. I don't care. I see it right here. All right? Someone got you guys always in a moody. They like, always in a mood. <laughs> you have, you're always moody because of the way that this person comes and goes, come and goes, spying on you, making fake numbers to come and get a, get a hold of you. It's very annoying. You're not into it. You don't even want them. And they still keep trying because they're so obsessed with you at the end of the day. Shit, Virgos. Thanks, cuties. Bye.